Good evening, everybody. I'm going to address this video to Co Cody Allen Dixon. Uh, let me tell you this right now. You said you have this tremendous singing voice, yet you're too shy to let anybody know about it. Let me let me fix the shyness business in about three seconds. Let me tell you something. Bambi had enemies. Everybody has enemies. Not everybody's going to like you. It's just the way it is. Now, I like you. You seem like a pretty nice guy. But there are a lot of people who aren't going to like you. It's just the way of life. I have enemies. I can tell you that right now. I have lots of enemies. But I also have lots of friends. Okay? You're going to have lots of friends and lots of enemies in life. It's just the way it is. That's life. It sucks. I'm sorry it does. Very little I can do about that. But you can't let people control you in that way. Basically, if you let people control you in that mannerism, you're never going to say anything. It's just the way it's going to be. You have to shout from the rooftops despite what anybody else has to say. Now, you want to do it tactfully and tastefully, obviously, but you got to shout it from the rooftops. If you don't, then they're controlling you, and you must not let people control you. You have to stand up and be what, what you are. Let me tell you something, that's what, that's what America is all about. America is about people standing up and standing firm. And not everybody's going to like you. That's just the way it is. I've lived it, I'm telling you. So you just get on there, you do your singing, and if somebody doesn't like it, that's their problem. That's their problem, not your problem. If they say nasty stuff to you, well, so be it. That just means they have bigger problems than you do. That's really sad. They, they, they have such pathetic lies that they have to pick on you. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Matter of fact, every time they do that to you, say, Thank heavens I don't have that person's life because that person must be so pathetic they had to go over in my channel and pick on me. That's horrible. Doesn't that other person have anything better to do with their lives? Guess not. So, hopefully that ends your shyness in about five seconds. Now, if you want to continue ending your shyness, I have a bunch of educational videos on the bottom part of my main channel page. I've got a whole slew of playlists. Learn every skill I'm teaching you. And if you do, and you keep learning from me, your life will definitely change. Not always for the better, I will say, but it will definitely change. You'll become far more creative. And the more creative you are, the more friends you'll make, and the better off you're going to be. And let me tell you something. If you want to practice this shyness, I encourage you, I implore you, I challenge you to make video responses to my videos. Say whatever you want. I will respond back. You have a guarantee on that. I will definitely respond to you. So if you want to end your shyness, you just come right over to this channel. You make a video response. Make a dozen of them. I don't care. Send as many as you want. I will listen to you. You have my personal guarantee on that. So take this up as a challenge. Go over there. You respond and respond and respond. And you tell me. And I will listen to everything you have to say. And I will respond back. And we'll knock that shyness out to the curb. I guarantee it. Okay? You say you're afraid of people looking up to you because if you make a mistake, they might think less of you. Let me tell you something. I make mistakes all the time. People still look up to me. Just because you make mistakes doesn't mean that people are going to think anything less of you. And if they do, here's my answer to that. They're dumb people. Okay, nobody is ever going to live up to somebody else's expectations. They might live up to some of those expectations, but not all of them. It's just the way it is. And if people are so delusioned as to believe that somebody will ever live up to somebody else's total expectations, then they live in a dreamland you don't need to be around them anyway. Because they're delusional, and they're paranoid, and eventually they're going to end up in an insane asylum, and you don't want to join them. So that solves that problem in about six seconds. The world is definitely a scary place. That's why you need lots and lots of friends. And let me tell you something. I'm your YouTube friend now. Okay? As long as you'll have me, I will be your YouTube friend. 
So you just got yourself a YouTube friend, and I'm out there to help you and anybody else that wants wants assistance. So, <laughs> so anyway, just go to the Bob Barker School of uh, Presentation. Don't worry about what those people think of you because half of them are dumb idiots anyway and they're going to end up in two-bit jobs for the rest of their lives and live total loser lives because they won't apply themselves the way they should in the first place. So, you know, let me tell you something. Some of the people that hate on you now will end up in a Kentucky Fried Chicken one of these days and they'll be frying your fried chicken for you. That is, if you trust them enough to do that. I don't know that I trust them enough to do that, but that's that's your choice. But anyway, I think you're getting the generalized idea here. Don't worry about those people. Let's break that shyness by you responding to me. Challenge me. I love it. I'm always up for a good challenge. Alright, so, hopefully that'll break your shyness once and for all. Hey. You got somebody to really respond to you. A lot of people can just leave a little comment here, a little comment there. Let me tell you, you just got a full-blown video response. So I'm putting you up to the challenge. Go for it. And let me know what you think. Don't write it on a piece of paper. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear exactly what you think. And don't you worry about anybody else. You reply directly to me. Okay? So, anyway... I'll tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.